today we'll uh, discuss about scope of cfd modeling or flow analysis uh, for industrial and real life problem and flow has a lot of application in real life nature and industry we human uh, we human being always deal with uh, with water air or blood hence uh, uh, the flow engineering is an important subject for the all uh, human being you must understand uh, particularly uh, during the corona virus transmission uh, because that point of view this subject has been important for the uh, uh, many engineer many scientist also in industry people use uh, cfd modeling for design of new system this uh, uh, lecture is all about prediction of flow physics with confidence using the uh, cfd analysis software the overview of uh, this lecture is is uh, to provide the uh, uh, knowledge and skill in uh, cfd modeling and it also help uh, to build a career in based on cfd analysis for that you should have some uh, uh, education background you should have some vision you should have some uh, software skill uh, uh, most important you should have interest to understand all these things and uh, you have to keep goal uh, in your life to build your career in this field Uh, this lecture focuses uh, on uh, what are steps for modeling a simulation how it is important what are their application and what are uh, subjects uh, in all for the cfd modeling and it is full for uh, uh, for all the uh, engineering those are dealing with the fluid analysis it is not related to mechanical aeronautic or chemical uh, engineering or uh, computer science it can help to the all the people uh, relevant to this field we also focus on the lectures and tutorial uh, that will be covered in online training then we cover career and job option in cfd modeling next we see the what are factors affecting the job opportunities and what we learn from uh, advanced cfd course uh, there is one tutorial uh, what uh, uh, things can be done for the analysis uh this is a uh, youtube channel you can subscribe to get uh, more uh, useful video those who want to learn more cfd flow analysis related to the any problem next introduction to the modeling and simulation we know science has a traditionally been divided into a uh, theoretical and experimental uh, discipline uh, we uh, we are much dealing with a uh, theory and experiment during the school days we learn a lot about theory which is based on hypothesis prediction conclusion and the uh, theoretical subject can be uh, physics chemistry biology uh, maybe mathematics it is based on the uh, mathematical formulation Uh, it may may not be applied in real life uh, uh, to uh, to apply the uh, knowledge gained from the, uh, the theoretical theoretical subject you have to do some experiment and more uh, doctor engineer do experiment in laboratory uh, or in industry to design the any system but but experiments are costly and risky for complex system and theory is uh, where used for the very simple problem cannot use for the all cases to overcome uh, shortcoming of theory and explain uh, computation is emerged as third pillar for the analysis it based on the observation uh, uh, it based on the computer based analysis and computer based analysis in all uh, three major subjects science mathematics and computer science it, uh, it evolved after the uh, 
in uh, today's century these subjects is uh, has been uh, more important we must not neglect and it is useful to carry out virtual experiment rather than uh, doing uh, experiment on the real ground it can help uh, to develop knowledge it can help uh, to uh, to understand our thinking and uh, it may help to develop futuristic technology a cfd is a part of modeling simulation here i have shown on one picture how air flow over the aeroplane and the uh, aeroplane has a uh, wings and uh, it has uh, some uh, jet engine and how it is a design such a that uh, aeroplane can fly in air without falling and how can it change the uh, its direction all thing depend on the uh, flow analysis uh, we learn about the uh, modeling simulation in uh, after third fourth year of the computer science uh, this subject also taught in uh, mechanical or computer science and uh, modeling a simulation is based on uh, engineering and physical science applied mathematics and computer science a cfd uh, it is called as a computational flow dynamics it is based on modeling simulation there are three major pillar for this subject first is the some physical subject fluid mechanics heat transfer thermodynamics chemical engineering a second pillar comprises mathematics differential equation numerical method a third pillar uh, is important which is a computer science computer science comprises programming and hardware if you have knowledge of the three subject then you can perform well uh, in computational fluid dynamics uh, cfd is an effective tool for the flow analysis it has wide range of application in automobile aerospace power generation uh, it is also used for design optimization of uh, industrial problem and uh, and and why it has been uh, more popular in old days people uh, use wind tunnel for testing of aeroplane vehicle missile but it cost was very high to overcome this then uh, flow analysis technique uh, is carried out using the cfd cfd uh, provide a low cost and uh, it takes less time it is scalable it provide a proper information for the, all the point and it is a repeatable and it is more secure we don't need to uh, uh, to have some danger due to the fire disaster or any uh, uh, accident we don't need to worry hence cfd has been popular against the experimental uh, analysis then we see the what are essential subject for the cfd modeling cfd is an, an interdisciplinary subject it requires knowledge of different subject like uh, some uh, subject from mechanical some chemical some aerospace some applied mechanic and computer science and uh, those are working in this field they must be familiar with the following subject as per the their uh, specific required required may be very as per the uh, their job and career uh, first uh, subject is important mathematics mathematics deals with the differential equation integration it also cover the numerical method like finite volume method finite element method finite difference method among these three method finite volume method is more popular second is some uh, subjects like uh, fluid mechanics heat transfer thermodynamics reaction uh, or passive flow uh, it can be a subject of the reaction engineering then multi phase flow turbo machinery combustion emission environmental science all these subjects are required and then third uh, computer uh, knowledge of computer science is essential without it this, uh, we cannot do the uh, simulation we may go to the hardware we, we need lab, lab, laptop for simple problem pc for the some more uh, bigger problem H, high performance computing machine or workstation used to fall uh, for the commercial problem or industrial problems super computer used for the academic research and uh, uh, super computer uh, is always important uh, to for the large scale analysis we must have the knowledge of the programming skill like c++ 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 python 
and if you don't know programming then you can use the uh, commercial cfd software like uh, access plane comsol stars cm or open source cfd server like open form for the experimental data for validation validation of the cfd results is essential uh, to get cred credibility of the numerical model if you have knowledge of the four uh, subject definitely we can uh, grow much much better way cfd has a major application in automobile aerospace ventilation biomedical waterfalls swimming it has application everywhere whenever uh, flow uh, uh, flow is important it can be a uh, cement process chemical industry food processing industry production manufacturing turbo machinery thermal uh, nuclear power plant combustion environmental pollution ventilation uh, uh, of building car bus civil aircraft weather forecasting defense and space application biomedical application here we see uh, one uh, example of the uh, uh, cfd modeling here is a one uh, example in which smoke uh, is coming out from the uh, oil fire in baghdad the same uh, phenomenon uh, is modeled uh, using using the cfd analysis and uh, we can see the uh, both uh, thing are similar that means uh, actual experiment can be uh, can be uh, predicted using the this analysis software rather than spending much money for the actual experiment Uh, then we see the uh, modeling of the coal fired boiler uh, is important part in the power plant industry and we, lot of uh, physical chemical process are involved we have to select the safety model based on mathematics physics or chemistry uh, the, it can be uh, there uh, some physics like particle phase model e operation drying deorthization char combustion turbulence turbulence chemistry interaction is also important there is also radiative heat transfer there is also formation of soot nox sox slagging due to ash as per the physics difference mathematical model are developed they are numerically implemented uh, in a cfd solver or software and, and these are solved over the domain and then we get uh, some results and these results are validated with uh, experiment data to get uh, Uh, credibility of the model here uh, here two more examples are there uh, corona virus transmission due to uh, to uh, due to person to person uh, here one per, uh, one person uh, is uh, covid and other person are uh, around him and when uh, that person uh, 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 transmit virus due to the uh, due to cupping and uh, we see the uh, particle which are uh, uh, presented uh, based on the um, analysis and we can find out the mixing length we can find out up to what length uh, this virus particle are significant and this is a cannot be easily done using the experiment but based on analysis we can do Uh, uh then next example is uh the next example is uh your breathing system here one person uh, uh who is uh, taking air and uh, he is also uh, exhaling the air and his breathing cycle is predicted using the uh, using the cfd analysis it is a problem of the fluid structure and and it is a uh, Uh, it is quite effective to model the uh, breathing system we can understand uh, where is the problem he is uh, uh, he uh, uh, in lungs uh, lungs comparing the number of air ways where the air is passing through it and we can understand the flow physics inside the air ways of the lungs cfd online course comparison uh, 
टेन ट्यूटोरियल फर्स्ट इज बेस्ट ऑन फ्लो थ्रू द पाइप एंड डक ऑप्टिमाइजेशन सेकंड इज फ्लो ओवर एप्टल वॉल कार एरोप्लेन दिस ट्यूटोरियल हेल्प हाउ टू डिजाइन द शेप ऑफ द कार वॉल एरोप्लेन थर्ड इज हिट ट्रांसफर एनालिस इट हेल्प फॉर हिटिंग वेंटिलेशन एंड हिट एक्सचेंजर एंड चिप कोलिंग फोर्थ इज ट्यूटोरियल बेस्ट ऑन स्पेसिस ट्रांसपोर्ट based on nox in uh, selective catalyst reduction soft scrubber these are quietly used in the industry to control the emission uh, then we saw uh, some example on multi phase flow like bubble column and multi phase flow uh, semi cyclone uh, safety modeling of particle atom flow then uh, multi phase flow is the two immiscible flow like a flashing water tank it is a gas burner combustion coal burner combustion then turbo machinery problem and some example you can see based on the user defined function these are 10 useful uh, tutorials which are relevant to the uh, uh, industrial application or, uh, or any uh, application which are uh, important for the future job next we see the lectures there are 10 lecture first lecture emphasizes on importance of the fluid flow second is the basic of the cfd modeling then turbulence modeling heat and uh, heat transfer and its modeling for convection and radiation then mass transfer of species transport then see the turbo machinery then multi phase flow modeling it has two part part 1 and part 2 because it is a very important subject this subject is taught majorly in the chemical engineering department uh, but other student can learn and can uh, take benefit from the this online course Uh, then next we see uh, details of the combustion and its modeling then uh, 10 lecture is the pollution control science safety modeling it can called as a combustion technology uh, last lecture is a customization of the cfd software using the access fluent edfs or open form uh, this cfd uh, uh, online course uh, I just floated, and uh, most of st students are interested in advanced safety course. It comes for either ten lecture, ten tutorial, or ten assignment, and uh, we can provide a safety support up to three months. We can provide a uh, job assistance, and the fee is a five thousand for industry professional, and uh, for the OSC is a seventy dollar. Those have done job uh, internship, the fee is just three thousand five hundred. Majority of Uh, aspirants show interest for advanced safety course, and this is useful. And you can uh, learn lot. You can get a certificate of course completion. Completion. We can attend the first lecture and tutorial. Uh, you can join uh, uh, with provisional registration. If you have any query, uh, send your email to the CFD Flow Engineering at the rate gmail dot com. and we provide registration form and uh, uh, it uh, we have to fill the your uh, details of the your uh, educational background professional background and your skill set it have to uh, to set the this syllabus uh, first lecture uh, which is very important is based on the fluid dynamics it related to the types of fluid flow the then field theory hydrostatics classification of fluid flow the eustache equation different forces acting on the fluid flow magnetohydrodynamic flow compressive flow boundary layer theory uh, difference between lamina and turbulent flow second lecture uh, is also important is based on the modeling simulation classification of flow governing equation uh, numerical simulation like governing meshing simulation quality of mesh it also cover discrimination matter pressure velocity coupling different algorithm and case study for the safe analysis it also cover the what are the safety software are there which software is uh, suitable for the analysis if you don't have you can use the uh, some uh, open source code you are very good in programming and and uh, uh, linux operating system then you can use then we if you are good in programming then structure of open uh, form you can understand easily next lecture is turbulence and its modeling first we see the uh, physics of turbulence flow then scale then experimental method 
And then what are the methods for the uh, turbos modeling by using RAS, detached dissimulation, DNS comparison between three methods, then uh, different types of the RAS model will be discussed in detail, the turbos model layer and uh, its resolution. The fourth lecture is based on heat transfer and its modeling, application of heat transfer, conduction heat transfer, the RAS equation for mass moment and energy equation, the computation of the heat transfer coefficient using the uh, CFD result. Then uh, we also discuss uh, modeling of natural convection, the importance of the buoyancy, uh, buoyancy modeling, how this effect is uh, considered in natural convection. Then we see the CFD modeling of thermal boundary layer uh, for internal external flow. This, uh, this is covered in detail based on the CFD results. And then we see the mixed convection. At the end, we see the radiative transfer and its modeling. What are the radiation models are there? How they are uh, carried out using the CFD software? Then you see the mass transfer. What are types of mass transfer? Laws of mass, dif mass diffusion, diffusion mass transfer by gas, conductive mass transfer, example of mass transfer boundary condition, which are similar to heat transfer. Then we see the uh, uh, industrial case study using the uh, uh, soft scrubber Knox, Knox uh, uh, reduction technique like SCR. Uh, then we see the combustion and its modeling. It comprises 7-8 uh, lecture, 7-8 uh, uh, sub topic. First is the fuel and combustion, thermodynamic combustion, chemical kinetics, transport equation in combustion, premix flame, non premix flame. Same stability in burner that is important. Uh, then emission, safe remodeling of combustion, then partial premix combustion. These things are we covered uh, in detail. We can see uh, uh, our website www.com uh, www.safeflowengineering. We can get lot of articles related to the combustion modeling. Then we see the basic of the emission as its modeling. We see the types of the emission, what are factors responsible for emission, types of the types and method to control emission and modern combustion technology uh, to control the pollution in automobile and energy sector. And it is useful those are working in energy sector or automobile uh, as a need of future because in future emission of are becoming more strict and we must know about the emission uh, uh, a controlling technology and for that we must know how to model a knock socks and suit uh, eight uh, lecture is based on multiplex flow and CFD modeling we see the basic of the multiplex flow types of multiplex flow application of multiplex CFD modeling of multiplex flow uh, the CFD modeling of the particle atom flow uh, for the uh, uh, disperse uh, particle phase, the dense uh, discrete particle model, the discrete element method as per the uh, coupling between the particle and the fluid. Then Euler Euler approach will be discussed in detail using uh, some example of the slurry flow. Then we see some case study of the bubble column. And then the second lecture on multiplex, uh, it is uh, only for the separate flow. We see uh, what are methods are used for the modeling of the separate flow, then method of the locating interface, volume of fluid method, level set method, then, uh, then couple level set volume method, which take advantage of both volume method and level set method, then case study for modeling and simulation of separate flow using open form and fluid. And the second last lecture is basic and uh, turbo machinery and its modeling, introduction to turbo machinery, classification of turbo machinery, major turbo machinery in thermal power plant. Then we focus on the terminology used for tur uh, turbo machinery. We must know what are the essential governing equation for turbo machinery, like a rotating reference frame and a stationary reference frame. These are two important framework considered for the uh, modeling of the turbo machinery. Then we see the what are uh, CFD tools for the turbo machinery. Uh, we also tell uh, how to create geometry using the ANSI platform for the blade, pump, blower. Then we also see uh, what are tools 
for turbo machine using the open form then we use the open source safety tool for the uh, turbo machinery uh, uh, then 11 lecture based on customization of safety solar using uh, UDF in flint or open form for the flint we must know the type of data variable declaration type of the user defined function in flint if you are, you must have some programming of the C Hmm. How variable are declared? How uh, 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 data uh, uh, in, in data structure? How variable are declared? What are types of loop? And some knowledge of data structure it can help. Uh, for the open form, you sh should have very good knowledge of the C++ and Linux command, uh, and knowledge of the uh, uh, structure, destructure, and template, and uh, how to link dynamic library. If you have knowledge of all these things, then you can learn open form easily. And open form uh, solar customization uh, is easy because we see everything how it is coded. And last lecture uh, is based on CFD and job interim. What are job options? And is uh, and what is uh, how can we build your uh, career in any specialized topic? Uh, CFD modeling has a lot of job. Uh, they are but uh, depending upon the uh, requirement or uh, situation you can join in academia you can get master degree or PhD by taking project on the CFD analysis if you do a CFD analysis with expert it will be uh, worthful because if your knowledge of both expert and CFD analysis it helps to, uh, uh, to how to develop new product and uh, knowledge is more valuable uh, if you do with experience. Uh, BTEC student can do an internship in industry like automobile, aerospace, chemical and process industry. They can go to energy sector. And for industry, uh, some industry are special. Those work, uh, work uh, in on the CFD uh, analysis within the software and they have good programming skill. Uh, they can go to the uh, those industry which are developing the CFD software. They can work in the development team. They can work in testing. And those those are not good in software. They can go to the application engineering using knowledge of the uh, mechanical industry and CFD tools. And those are specialized uh, after uh, master or PhD. Then they can go to the aerodynamic engineer, thermal engineer, process engineer, combustion engineer, fluid structure specialist, uh, turbo machinery engineer, or research scientist. Uh, if uh, companies have some position, uh, then you all have shown of the safety modeling in the last three decades. Uh, during the 1990 to 2000, there was uh, development for the turbo combustion multiphase flow. But there was a limited resource. Uh, his uh, very few used to carry out uh, DNS or LES. But simulation was used only in the aerospace industry like G, NASA, Rose, Rice. Uh, they had developed their solver as per their need. But there was limited scope for the CFD software like open pump land in industry. Then after 2000, uh, then this valid uh, this model will. Uh, Validate against experimental data and these models are well refined as per need of the complex problem. Uh, then simulation simulation penetrated into the large scale industry even though it was uh, highly expensive. But it made difficulty was meshing for the complex geometry. High computation time uh, it becoming difficult for the large scale problem. Uh, then uh, uh, second decade after uh, 2000. Uh, then many suitable models are available in CFD solar. CFD simulation has become more at affordable for many medium scale industry, but small scale industry cannot afford because its cost is very high. For India, its cost is $50 per hour. In the USA, uh, the analysis cost is around uh, uh, $200 to $250 per hour. Yes, uh, 
is many medium scale industry cannot be offered. Even though we can do some simulation using our laptop or uh, workstation uh, by using number of uh, core uh, or parallel computing, uh, still there is a challenge uh, on the CFD result because many uh, CFD results cannot be trusted unless we don't have experimental or actual data. Uh, this is a big challenge for the uh, CFD, analy uh, CFD analysis. Then factor affecting the CFD opportunities uh, for the C uh, project work. It is also important to understand scope of project. For that, you have to identify the problem, potential area for the CFD analysis. Check the CFD result is uh, reliable or not. And you have to check the, uh, uh, can this problem uh, solve using the analytic, uh, analytical software or a simple uh, uh, formulation? Uh, second, technical full pay is also important. Your project sh uh, sh uh, should fulfill the need of the client. Your company needs to qualify the technical bit. Your team uh, should have a sufficient technical skill or experience. Finish and funding of projects are important. Because uh, every year uh, project is floated for action, uh, for that you fulfill technical fulfillment or financial uh, requirement. If you, uh, your project is overpriced, then uh, we cannot get projects. That is depend upon how uh, your company has developed the business model. And effective technology and method uh, with good management skill can uh, do cost. Uh, can do more cost effective projects. Uh, then credibility and guarantee of work is also important. Uh, that background of uh, uh, previous projects, satisfaction of the your work with guarantee of uh, your design, long term experience will help uh, to uh, to design the system or to develop technology. Some company uh, develop their technology and people uh, that is well trusted, then people can uh, believe their result or their technology for last is important resource you should uh, company should have well qualified experienced engineer or scientist and availability of soft hardware and software also important with all these five factors decide the your job opportunity based on the cfd analysis in academia we learn basic advanced subject uh, but we lack application of the subject Yes, we go to industry. Industry can be product based, service based, or technical startup. If you don't have some fundamental knowledge or, uh, or knowledge uh, of the advanced subject, then we we may not have engineer intuition to how to design. If we everything, if we go experience, but we don't have experience in all time, uh, in such a situation, in engineer intuition can work. Then third pillar is a creation of knowledge, uh, like a research development is carried out with a subject expert. And CFD is the tool of virtual R&D. And uh, there should be continuous research and development to develop new technology or new knowledge. And that knowledge can be transferred to the academia, uh, linked to the, the fundamental knowledge or advanced subject. And that knowledge again uh, should, be, uh, should be applied for the real life uh, problem using uh, product and services and three pillars are important uh, knowledge always uh, should be knowledge should be flow uh, in three ways uh, so that we uh, knowledge uh, cannot be die uh, that means you should not be forget uh, and uh, we can we can learn a lot from this course uh, basic and physical understanding of complex flow, application of the flow analysis technique, what are software are used for the analysis. We can enhance knowledge of the subject uh, like fluid mechanics, turbulent flow, combustion, such a complex subject you can learn uh, in simple way. And you learn how to design optimized flow system or industrial problem. And you will be professionally, technically efficient to solve any problem. And will be uh, self-reliant for your professional career.
uh, rather than uh, uh, depending on the uh, expert here i'm uh, taking one problem as a tutorial here is one heater is there and one uh, uh, burner is there and a flame is coming we have to model this problem using the cfd analysis uh, first you must know the uh, physics behind uh, this problem you must know knowledge of the uh, how uh, this system is designed and uh, then we think uh, what uh, physics are in all you have to uh, note down there can be turbulent flow there can be uh, chemistry like chemical kinematics in all uh, there can be turbulent chemistry interaction because of, uh, there is a mixing of the species due to turbulence and there is uh, and there is a possibility of the uh, strong uh, reaction reaction can be fast or slow as per uh, reaction rate uh, we have to decide the fast or slow chemistry uh, combustion model there uh, there is a heat transfer by uh, convection and radiation and we must know the type of mixing can be premix or diffusion if you use the solid fuel or liquid fuel then we have to go multiphase flow modeling and at the end we have to check the uh, pollution whether this uh, combustion can uh, uh, create the uh, pollution because it, it is important for all combustion problem if we know all this then you have to select the uh, right CFD software for the analysis and uh, you can uh, do an analysis using the CFD software and uh, once your results are uh, uh, results are okay, then uh, we can submit to your uh, client or uh, so uh, institute. Uh, thank you for joining this lecture. Those are interested, they can join uh, this online training. Uh, kindly visit this website uh, www. Cfd Pro Engineering. It helps uh, for master PhD student or industry professional. For uh, CFD and flow engineering, it deals with the flow analysis and technology. Thank you for attending this lecture.